All right, thanks for watching. And today we'll talk about how to change coordinates from one basis to another one. And I've been getting lots of requests for this. So now we can finally answer this question. So what do we want to do? Suppose you have a basis for R2, which is given like this one, and you find it's kind of outdated, and you would like to work with a different basis. Let's here say with a basis C, which is given by this, then the problem is if you started with B, you had all your coordinates, you know, X, B, and now you have to update them and find X, C. And this is what we want to do today. Given that the coordinates of x with respect to b are 2, 1, find the coordinates of x with respect to c. And by the way, there's another video I have done on the playlist somewhere where I give you a really cool application of this, where you can integrate a crazy function using linear algebra. So, and I will tease you a little bit because I will show you some very ineffective ways and then at the end, I will show you how to actually solve the problem and get the answer. So here's the slow way. It's slow, but I think very intuitive. What does it mean for x, b to be 2, 1? That just means that in order to get x, you go two steps in the first direction, 7, 5, and one step in the second direction, minus 3, minus 1. Again, that's just the definition of coordinates. x, b being 2, 1 means you do 2 times the first vector plus 1 times the second vector. And if you do that, you get 14 minus 3, which is 11, and 10 minus 1, which is 9. So 11 and 9. And then... <laughs> You have this vector, and then to find x, c, it really means, can you find coefficients a and b such that 11, 9, it's a times 1 minus 5, plus b times minus 2, 2. And if you find a and b, in other words, if you solve this system of equations, then you do get your x, c. If you set this equal to 11, 9, and you find a and b, you get your coordinates x, c. And again, that's just by definition of coordinates. What x, c means, means that how many steps in this first direction and how many steps in the second direction do you have to go to reach the vector 11, 9. And so if you find those directions, it gives you x, c. That says it's very slow, because basically you have this code, you have to recover x, and then you have to find xc. And the question is, is there a faster way? Is there a way to going directly from xp to xc without even having to figure out what x is? And in fact, there is. So let me tell you the faster way. faster way. The faster way is via what's called the change of coordinates matrix, P from B to C. And there's a reason I write it this way, because what is the property of B, of P? P, think of it as a super scanner. It takes a code as its input, so it takes XB as an input, and it spits out XC. So it's something that goes directly from a code to another code. So think of it as like a code updater or something. And why is it written this way? It's actually a great notation because if you just follow the arrows, you see that you start with XB and you end up with XC. And yes, also XD, but that's something different. Okay. And the question is, how do you construct this matrix? Well, it's simply as follows. So P, B to C. All you do is you take your old vectors. So your 
vectors in the base is B. So this is, if you like, this is B1 and B2. And you take those old vectors and you evaluate them with respect to the new coordinates. So you take the old vectors and you scan them with the new coordinates. And I think this makes sense because um, if you take, how do you find a matrix, the matrix of, uh, how do you find, sorry, uh, a matrix? You just figure out what it does to one, zero, and zero, one. Suppose you apply PBC to the vector one, zero. Well, what does one, zero mean here? It means a vector x whose coordinates with respect to b are 1, 0. But this just means that x is 1 times the first vector plus 0 times the second vector. So x is just b1. And what does that mean? So in other words, we have p, b, c of... In other words, again, the first column is uh, b1 with respect to b, but you would like this to be xc. That's the output you want. Therefore, since x is just b1, the first column of pbc should be b1c. And that's how you get the first column. And to get the second column is the same thing but with b2. So this is why we have this definition. Good. And so, to construct this matrix PBC, you just need to do the following thing. You basically just need to figure out the coordinates of B1 with respect to C and the coordinates of B2 with respect to C. So, again, PBC. That's the coordinates of B1 with respect to C, and B2 with respect to C. So technically, what you have to do, you have to take the vectors B1 and B2, which are 7, 5, and minus 3, minus 1. Good. Remember, B was that. And technically, you would have to express this in terms of your vector C, which are 1, minus 5, and minus 2, 2 and 1 minus 5, and minus 2, 2. And those are, again, your vectors in C. That's the definition of finding B1 with respect to C and B2 with respect to C. So if you solve for A, B, and C, D, it gives you this matrix, and then you just plug in the formula to get X, C. But... This is still too complicated. So in practice, you would never find it this way. But think, let's think about this matrix a little bit more. Remember, there is this nice property of change of coordinates matrices. PB of XB is just X. And in particular, um, you can do this the same thing with C. So PC, XC is X. In particular, xc is pc inverse of x. So this thing, what it really is, it's pc inverse of b1 and pc inverse of b2. But then you can just factor out pc inverse of B1 and B2. And all this becomes is just PC inverse of PB. Because that's just the definition of the matrix PB. PC inverse PB. So, and indeed, this will give us a faster way of evaluating your matrix here. And notice, this sort of makes sense, because this matrix is just PC, and then to find A, B, C, D, you apply PC inverse to both those vectors. So PC inverse PB. And now I can tell you a faster way of doing this. So 
So now it's an even faster way. And then I can finally tell you the answer. So this is like speed, double speed, quadruple speed if you want. So even faster. Okay, so again, PBC. What we want to do is a PC inverse, PB. And surprisingly, the method of doing that, it's very similar to the method of inverting matrices. So again, we have PBC, so you put C on one hand and B on the other hand. Technically, it should be PC and PB. And then basically, you just row reduce it until the left-hand side becomes the identity and the right-hand side is C inverse B. But that's precisely what this is. This is just PBC. So now, let's just do that. Let's take your um, basis C, which is 1 minus 5, minus 2, 2, and your basis B, which is 7, 5, minus 3, minus 1, and row reduce. So you multiply this first row by 5, and you get 1 minus 2, 7 minus 3, and then 0, and then minus 10 plus 5, so minus 8, and then, okay, 35 plus 5, which is 40, and minus 15 minus 1, which is minus 16. And the nice thing is, you know, you can divide all those things by 8, or minus 8. Then you get, uh, let's raise this a bit, uh, 1 minus 2, 0, 1, and then 7 minus 3, and then um, minus 5, I think, and 2. And then, to turn this into the identity, you just multiply the second row by 2 and add it to the first row, and you indeed get 1, 0, 0, 1, and then 7, minus 5, and then I think just uh, minus 1 and 2. And therefore, our change of coordinates matrix, it's simply PBC. It's simply 7 minus 5, minus 1, 2. And then how do you get XC? You just use this wonderful formula. You apply PBC to XP. And that just becomes 7 minus 5, minus 1, 2, 2, two 1. I believe you get 14 minus 1, which is 13. And then minus 10 plus 2, which is minus 8. And that tells you that if the original coordinates are 2, 1, what are the new coordinates? They're 13 and minus 8. And the cool thing is, you didn't even have to go through figuring out what the vector x is. How cool is that? All right, I hope you like this change of coordinates extravaganza. If you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.